An aerosol is a term that describes particles or liquid droplets that can be dispersed in air or a gas. As a respiratory therapist, it's common to administer certain aerosol medications to patients in need. As these types of drugs are delivered as an aerosol, it allows for inhalation into the airways of the lungs to promote bronchodilation, relieve mucosal edema, and loosen thick secretions. Aerosol output is a term that refers to the total mass or weight of the particles that are produced by a nebulizer or any type of aerosol generator for dispersion. In general, the aerosol output will vary greatly depending on the drug delivery system that is used. Some of the most common examples include nebulizers, meter dose inhalers, and dry powder inhalers. Each device has certain advantages and disadvantages for different types of patients. So you may be wondering, how can you measure aerosol output? The output is measured by collecting an aerosol particle on a filter once it is dispersed and then analyzing the weight or quantity. If you measure the weight, this is referred to as the gravimetric analysis, which is typically less reliable because of the weight changes that occur due to evaporation. Analyzing the quantity is a more reliable way of measuring aerosol output. It's important to keep in mind that a large proportion of aerosol particles never make it to the lungs due to deposition in the back of the throat or in the larger airways. This could be due to the aerosol particle size or to the patient's breathing pattern. As a practitioner, understanding how to control these variables is important for improving the overall delivery of aerosol therapy to your patients. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.